What's going on guys, James here coming at you. We're continuing the specialty bar series today. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about the multi-grip bar. Some people refer to it as a football bar. Uh, the one we're using today, I would not consider a football bar because it's not football shaped. So this is the bar we're gonna talk about today. The multi-grip bar. This is Rogue's MG2. You can see it's got three handles. There's a lot of different variations when it comes to this bar. Some Swiss bars, uh, they're all kind of basically the same. They involve handles that go vertical or slightly angled in, okay? Some, you'll see, will have super steep angles. Some not so much like this one, okay? Um, and the idea behind this is a lot of people have issues with straight bar bench press just because of shoulders, elbows, injuries to those kind of extremities. And so the neutral grip, kind of this, this vertical bar, or the angled in slightly feels a lot better. It's kind of like almost doing like a dumbbell press in a, in a way, like a neutral grip dumbbell press or even a slightly turned in dumbbell press. Um, it feels a lot better on the shoulders. You're able to stay in tighter without getting flared crazy. And so it's a nice variation. It's also super good if you're trying to like hammer away on your triceps. Um, so it's a really awesome bar. Like I said, this is a Rogue MG2. I like it. Okay, I really like these two handles. I'm not a huge fan of this inner handle. I think it's a little bit too narrow for me and it puts my wrist in a weird position. Um, but I've, I've used some multi-grip bars where this is not uh, as narrow. And it's a little bit wider and it's a little bit more angled. And I kind of like those ones a little bit more. But I really, really like these two outer handles. Uh, like a neutral grip bench press. A lot of people bench incorrectly just to begin with. They bench kind of like almost bodybuilder-ish. They're out here with a ton of weight, puts a lot of stress on the shoulder. Aside from that, some people, even even when they're in close, they have some issues with the shoulder, with the elbow, even sometimes with the wrist. And so this is a nice variation because it gives you that neutral grip. So it forces you to almost stay in kind of like a close grip position, which puts a lot less stress on the shoulder, puts a lot of emphasis on the triceps, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys how this works. So basically, you're gonna lay down like your traditional bench press. We're gonna grab one of the handles. I'll show you all three. So this is the outermost handle. We're just gonna here, let it pull down. You see it keeps my elbows in. That next middle handle brings my elbows in a little bit tighter. And this is my favorite right here. This feels super good. It's really good on the, on the triceps. And then this is the third one. It's a little narrow. It's a little narrow, uh, and when you start loading that one up, it's a little painful. And you'll see too, since it's it's kind of it's kind of wide, and so like my hand, it's about double the size of my hand across, and so it creates a whole new element of instability because when you grab the bar, now instead of just worrying about lifting it, now you have to worry about stabilizing with your wrist because it'll tip back or forward as you go through the movement. So if you go like super fast, out of control, not really locking in with your grip, um, you'll lose the bar and it'll start twisting on you or dipping back. It's really, it's a really nice bar. I love it. I love doing um, like accessory work with it. I do, I do it sometimes as like a main movement, but I traditionally just use it kind of as an accessory rep movement. Um, just get some volume, really hammers the triceps. It crushes your triceps. The floor presses with this brutal just destroys your triceps really great bar highly recommend it like i said i'm not a giant fan of this one in particular i like it um there are some other ones out there that are a little bit better lead fts makes a really nice multi-grip swiss bar football bar whatever you want to call it this this is pretty pretty darn good i enjoy it like i said i really like these two handles not a giant fan of this one but i know some people who are a little smaller than me who really like this handle okay um it's just a little awkward for me and my mechanics most gyms have like the standard just barbells but if you can get access to a multi-grip bar like this you can do a ton of cool shit with it like i like doing some log press style movements overhead with it i'll do some curls i'll do some skull crushers with it as well pressing is awesome i've tried it for some rows not amazing um but I've done some variations with rows that are really cool with it as well. Um, 
it's a it's a great bar and it feels good and so for one of those days where your you know shoulders maybe a little banged up this one's an excellent excellent choice great for accessory work building up the triceps and your press strength if you guys have any questions feel free to leave comments below let me know what you guys think if you got a favorite multi-grip bar leave those below as well uh, some cool exercises you guys do with that i'd love to hear some of you guys have done some cool exercises with the multi-grip let me know try to build up the comment section a little bit try to get some more interaction on this page i'll leave a link below too on where to get the rogue multi-grip bar um, they have another one too they have the mg1 and i think they have a third one as well i haven't tried those two um, this, is, this is the only rogue multi-grip bar i've tried appreciate y'all for watching stay tuned gonna continue the series next time i'll talk to y'all later peace